Yeah, this is the Socialist International hymn. And uh, yeah, there are some funny tales about this. There is a copyright uh, on this uh, hymn. And this copyright was held by a company in Munich in Western Germany. <laughs> and they received uh, payments from the GDR, from the German Depub <laughs> Democratic Republic from the East. So <laughs> they had to be into the market uh, for getting their socialists. <laughs> <laughs> socialism. Yeah, so and uh, we this West is Germans sell socialism to <laughs> the Soviets. <laughs> so this is the start and now there's the introduction and then we're just in. Welcome to whiskey.com where not so fine spirits <laughs> meet today. <laughs> yeah, we have a special whiskey uh, sent to us by uh, customers from the former GDR, German Democratic Republic, which wasn't that democratic at all. It was a socialist, a communism regime. There, they had uh, the same colors in their flag, but uh, the flag was different in, in detail. In detail. <laughs> <laughs> Huge hammer and sickle in there. <laughs> it's it's yeah. not the hammer and sickle. It's what is it? It's it's a hammer and uh, what is that? That, uh, that thing. Circle. Circle where you, where you yeah. do circles yeah. into parts of your thing. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So, yeah. Um, the and here we we got a paper, mm -hmm. uh, a letter sent to us. Probably you can see this here. You have this uh, confidential. Uh, uh, what's the Dienstsache? Uh, uh, confidential papers or uh, uh, in official papers. Official in, in working papers. Uh, yeah. So this is a uh, probably a stamp from the former, former uh, GDR. Duty is Dienst. Duty. Confidential duty papers. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, here he uh, uh, comments on this bottle which uh, was uh, an original whiskey fabricated by the well the state owned no not the state owned it was a private company but all private companies in gdr had to uh, give 95 percent of their profits uh, to the government okay and yeah it was a family-owned business called mm -hmm. Falkenthal, that's why the whiskey is called Falkner, which is uh, Falkner is the f guy who holds the falcons. So there's a falcon hunting, and this guy holds the falcons, and that's so it's the, the falcon guy. And Falkenthal was a distillery that usually was known for the, um, yeah, the herb spirit or herb schnapps called Zinner, Zinnerer. Klosterbruder, <laughs> which is a strange name for even German. It's, it's, a, it's a monk brother. Monk. It's a monastery. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah the brothers, the monks from the monastery from Zimmerer. <laughs> the whiskey was uh, said to be uh, matured in steel tanks, but we're not quite sure about this. And this bottle here was bought in Karl Marx Stadt, uh, Karl Marx City. Now Nowadays it's called Chemnitz. And yeah, it was built uh, about in 1985, so uh, a couple of years before the, the East Germany fell. And it was bought for 27 marks, and that East German marks, marks not yeah. West German marks. You have to divide by four to seven to reach the German marks, and that you have to divide by two to get euros. And uh, a euro is 1.16 dollars in the moment. And we got this uh, bottle from the Whiskey Club 08 from Erfurt, Thuringen. And a Jens sent this bottle to us. Thank you for this. And I had some experiences with this when I was uh, had my own engineering company in that time. Uh, a friend of mine uh, came over uh, immediately after the wall uh, fell and he brought such a bottle with him and that was not this one but it was a rectangular shaped very close to a johnny walker bottle 
and there was this golden label on it, uh, Fagner, and uh, it wasn't uh, put on in an angle uh, because that had been would have been too too close to Johnny Walker, but it was uh, horizontally, and it was a well in the end of the German Democratic Republic. It was uh, a mimicry to to Johnny Walker. Mm -hmm. And there had been two different whiskies. One was the Falkner and the other called Edelfalke. And the second one came in a dark brown bottle, flask shaped. And this was then uh, stopped by either the US or the Scottish officials uh, because it was called Old Master in the beginning. And Old Master uh, was too close to an uh, Anglo-Saxon brand, so they had to change, and then they called it Edelfalke. Edelfalken in German means um, glamorous falcon. Yeah. So, so <laughs> it's gla more glamorous, but it, it it gives the falcon its glorious falcon or something like that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it, it's the the jazzed up version of the normal one that we have here. Yeah, and I think <laughs> it was thirty five marks something. Thirty five marks, maybe and it was quality. single malt whiskey. And this one is said to be a blend. Well, we will see if it's a blend at all. <laughs> okay. And uh, there is some maturation process going on. Uh, from time to time, you have uh, uh, spirits matured in, in stone jugs, big mm -hmm. stone jugs. And during that time, uh, the fresh components into a desolate uh, oxidize and, and, and change to more mature. Uh, compounds and so it might have matured two to three years in steel tanks something would have happened in it so the question is how does it compare to a modern discount whiskey that Horst has tasted or how does it compare to a, a little tetra pak uh, street whiskey spirit from india <laughs> did <laughs> we have that in english language yes we did i think <laughs> yes we did and it was horrible <laughs> the discount whiskey was half decent <laughs> <laughs> ah yeah so this is plain vanilla plain vanilla plain vanilla mm -hmm. and in the back now it, it's my second dram, and in the back there is a very little alcoholic note. There's no, no oakiness at all. Nothing else than pure vanilla. Mm -hmm. it, it's uh, surprisingly mild. So the the main component definitely vanilla, but uh, the alcohol very very faint. It's a very very faint note of alcohol. Mm. On the label, it's very difficult to see what a ABV this bottle has. It it's looks sad to be a 40% ABV, but it looks like 43, 42. Very hard to see. Yeah. Oh, we will, maybe we'll, we'll taste it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Nostrovie. Nostrovie. <laughs> Russian comrades. <laughs> mm. Mm, 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 mm. You just pour it in into your mouth. You're, you're afraid of nothing, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So first, uh, it's very smooth on the tongue, and then uh, something more hefty kicks in. And first you said it is uh, lime soap, mm -hmm. but no, no soap. But I even did not feel the lime. But now with the second sip, I feel the lime in it. And in the aftertaste, there is something bitter strong in the mm -hmm. aftertaste. But uh, this one is the contrast of being complex. Mm -hmm. It's just so straight from the nose mm -hmm. to the aftertaste. Mm. It's just one dimensional. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 
it's the strange thing I, I want to to take back the the soap the the citrus or lime soap uh there is a bit of a fresh component to it there's almost mm, a fresh component being maybe some citric note maybe alcoholic note and it goes straight to some bitterness and nothingness mm -hmm. so it's yeah it's the opposite of complex so um but the strange thing is it's not as sharp as i would have expected i would have expected something that would make a russian proud and that that would burn your mouth or something like that but that one is just i can mm. i can tell you the different <laughs> difference um if a a country runs on spirits then you can't have a spirit which gives you a headache which burns something it has to be very very high distilled and has to be clean otherwise you would have a country with headache from morning oh, to a country that failed from dusk to dawn <laughs> uh, like for, they they were on, on, <laughs> on the run for 70 years 70 years it the russians, the russians so yeah. if you have a vodka it has to be very very clear otherwise your head will blow off with all those <laughs> headaches so what i think of this this is the old uh i think vodka standard vodka bottle and this was a liqueur company mm -hmm. produced liqueur and probably they had this vodka and put vanilla in mm -hmm. put some uh, Flakes shavings <laughs> of, some, of oak in there maybe yeah. <laughs> or some wood that yeah. they found and <laughs> probably a little bit of uh, of caramel color on top and that's it mm. so we once had a a alcoholic free whiskey here on our table <laughs> it was just but they had a, a very very complex mix of, of flavors of yeah, flavors but it, but it lacked strange, the alcohol but... definitely yeah um and this one probably is a pure vodka and then got a few additions yeah to it. i would have expected something much much different i just would have expected much more kicking much more biting like like the indian <laughs> street spirit uh, i have to to deliver a little bit of more history to that yep so uh, so for my rating <laughs> is when when you have a scotch that's up here then you have a discount whiskey that's maybe here or there somewhere and then you have uh, the indian street spirit is down <laughs> here or street whiskey and it's it's slightly above that yeah. i have to say it's it's better it doesn't have any flavors that could convince you to rate it better at all but mm -hmm. it's it's not it's not bad it's not it's as not good <laughs> it's not and good not either <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, to deliver a little bit of history uh, that company uh, was i think it was in brandenburg and uh, after uh, opening of the uh, the iron curtain this company uh, tried to to go into the western german or the, the combined market but they did not succeed in with their products uh, so they went bankrupt i think <clears throat> two or three years after the wall fell uh, they went bankrupt and didn't make it uh, onto the market well if you have to decide to have for 27 marks for such a bottle or have it then a 25 or a 20 mark blended scotch whiskey you would have taken the blended scotch whiskey mm -hmm. and so they they did not really had a chance uh, to survive so what is a bit uh, disturbing here is when you have at the bottom of the bottle you have no refund <laughs> so you can buy it but you know no refund <laughs> uh, no they not it's not meant refund the gdr had a 99 percent recycling system you brought every piece of plastic back to them and you bought every piece of uh, bottle back which was refilled and this meant uh, Keine Rückgabe, no return means no deposit or yeah, yeah no recycling no no uh, no recycling at the no official return for the recycling for the recycling mm -hmm. and I think this bottle went into the normal glass you, and was re returned there you could interpret it like uh, yeah you can buy it but you know if you try <laughs> it then no refund <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay yeah okay so yeah 
that was it. I don't think you will find this whiskey pretty much anywhere in the world because no. it's uh, long out of stock. So having one of these bottles is pretty much, uh, yeah, you, you'll be pretty unique having one of these bottles. If you see one, they will start getting collector's value. Probably among the socialists, the <laughs> wealthy socialists. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.